Yo, t t t test it then. It's yours truly, Madness K M A. How do we spell that? Well, we spell it correct and we don't get it twisted. The M A double D N E double S K M A on the platforms, and of course, right here hosting on the platform of Pirate Chronicles series channel. Road to 1K. We are just round the corner. You know, I keep saying that each week, but that's because you are not subscribing. There's so many new people that are watching the videos all the way through, which I say. Manners and respect for watching the video from beginning, middle, and the end, which really helps as well. And for those that are the ride or dies from the beginning and watching straight away, hitting the like button before the video even starts, I love that, right? But I need you most as well. If you're a non subscriber, please do subscribe to the channel and make sure we reach over 1k by the next video. I've been knocking them out. To a week as it goes if there's something to report with the garage report episode you'll have some content on a wednesday and friday of course every week we have the hidden dub series and last week we had story time from the warehouse rave events and we keep it going so on today's garage report we've got some more new music to rate recommend and review right here on the garage report with yours truly and um it's going back in time again old school producers from the 90s under the name of frd now frd i featured one of their mixes on the essential plates from too tough for you records um a few weeks back which just set the place on fire and can i just say sold out on those exclusive vinyl releases maximum respect and i hope that i contributed in some way in pushing it out to the masses so you can understand the way i do pirate radio of today right here on youtube so who is frd frd productions under the label drp which is damn right productions i've been going for some years and years from the 90s of house and garage elements and music that i used to be one of those to play the exclusives when i used to get them with my connection from moles music machine the distribution company that everyone went to back in those days and i was lucky if there was five exclusive first test presses i would be amongst that five to get it first and to push it out to the masses as well as the old school days you had to be exclusive for what you was playing and the content you was pushing out and it's just my rated and recommended reviews my humble opinions and my experience that i share with the followers listeners and viewers and subscribers so please don't feel away if you've sent in your project and i have not featured it that means i've got a schedule that i refer to each week for how and who is sending what when and how and how it gets out to you right but not always are they going to make the review because if i don't feel it myself or um you know the contribution towards garage evolution then it won't get a play it's as simple as that back in the days on the pirate radio when you used to send me all these tunes and distribution companies all over uh, the country used to send it and if i didn't play it it's because i might not feel it so there's no disrespect to your production or your outfit it just means that you know it takes time and it might not be my cup of tea and it's just my opinions that we give each time on the garage report so FRD has sent me a four track EP, which is going to be an exclusive vinyl release only. And when I heard it, they sent me it on the world exclusive. No one else has got these tunes. So they gave me a brief rundown and I'll give you the rundown as it says on here. The vinyl release is getting packaged up and ready to go out. It's going to be circulating in about two to three weeks time. Here's the artwork. <laughs> So in the description, it says this EP features two new tracks, which is made this year on the A side, which is Ryan's Groove and A minus. On the B side, it features tracks that the outfit produced in 1997 and were never released. One of which remix MJ Cole's classics, which was produced at the FRD studio with Memzy on the vocals and it will sound familiar to air. Let's get into it without further ado with track number one.
Of a baseline roller as anybody that knows me for my productions and whatever whatever my DJ sets I love a baseline roller nice tune user friendly uh, I wouldn't say it made me jump out of my boots however it's got a groove and it got that play today Ryan's groove entry number one from FRD So entry number two on today's program from FRD is a track called A Minus, which is on the A side of the forthcoming vinyl release. Let's get into this. Defo can tell that it has those old school elements. And it's only from old school producers that will have that flavor. A groove again that I remember that sound flavor from these two producers and it just takes me to a sound that I would play on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning show back in the freak days it's a groove it gets that play um, very user-friendly as it is again not a big club banger but you know the groove can make the move you know what I mean So going to the B-side now with two tracks that was produced from the late 90s and obviously revamped and reworked for today in 2024 on the B-side with two tracks kicking it off. Entry number one from the B-side and a track called Control. Let's go. Definitely a sound from the old school, right? Produced in the 90s, they say.
groove. Another groove. It sounds like the old days. I can appreciate the sound. That's why it gets to play on today's program on the Garage Report. We are featuring Rico Fernandez and Fuzz Buzz, known as FRD Productions, on the label of DRP Damn Right Productions, with a new vinyl release that is coming out in a few weeks' time. And this is the next one here that they said it was reworked uh, from the 90s, an MJ Cole classic featuring Memzi on the vocals. This one's called Said It's Coming. You would know the vocal, and they've done the mix. It was produced originally at their studio. So they say, let's get this one on. Yeah. If I remember rightly, they used to do work with um, Memzi as well back in the day. So I remember that. Shout out to the old school Moe's Music Machine as well for the distribution back in those days. So there you have it, a very user-friendly EP that is coming out on vinyl and I do give it some respect because they deserve it as producers from the old school days coming back with that sound and essence from the old school which I can appreciate because not everything has got to be a club version. Not everything has to be played on a loud sound system to say you want it to be a war if I dub play sounding dub. Not everything has to have a big banging bass line, but that smooth house and garage era, it kind of reminds you of something that the Dream Team would have played back in the day as well, as well as the Freak members. On, 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 like I said, I could feel it on a morning show, an evening show, uh, but not on the MC's gonna ride some rhythm over it and burst some lyrics, it's not gonna happen. It's the kind of vibe that I think is still nice to be coming out in 2024, and the vinyl release for the vinyl heads, you'll be happy for that. Damn Right Productions, is the label DRP and FRD comes with that new EP out in your streets in a few weeks time. Remember all you heard the world exclusives right here at the Garage Report with yours truly mad this KMA. Not everything will make the grade. If it doesn't get played, then it just doesn't get played. No hard feelings and you know the way the story unfolds. Like, subscribe, comment and share. This is yours truly mad this KMA on Pirate Chronicles series channel. In the Garage Report, I'm out.